51-year-old Yoshihiro Murai first came to Miyagi as a pilot in Japan's self-defense force. His bird's-eye view of the northeast coast convinced him it was an area that would experience great change. He wasn't expecting the transformation that came on March 11th. I was in a car just about to arrive at the office when the quake struck. The road was moving like a roller coaster and the traffic lights were waving sideways. That was 2.46. I rushed into the office and ordered the self-defense force to come and help at 3.02. For Mirai, the clock is still ticking. It's a race to build a new Miyagi and stop big business turning its back on the region. After the great Hanshin earthquake, they tried to put Kobe back together exactly the way it was. It took 10 years and the city lost its buzz. Ships don't go there anymore because China and Korea developed more convenient ports in those 10 years. Morai has been touting an 80-page plan to rebuild the region around business groups in Tokyo. He wants to revitalize 200 kilometers of wrecked coastline and introduce new technologies and economies of scale to strengthen farming and fishing. This idea was difficult to implement before the quake when people had their own fish farms, ships, processing plants and markets. Now everything's been washed away and they have nothing, so we have a chance to try. If it's a success, it could influence the whole country. There's a Japanese saying that disaster turns to fortune. We face huge difficulties, but it's an opportunity to create a better future. You can't expect the central government to do everything, and I expect the minimum from them. We can't fix this problem with tax revenue because the country's population is shrinking. Japan delayed talks to join the Trans-Pacific Partnership because of the quake and fears that the country's agricultural industry wouldn't be able to compete in a free trade zone, including countries like the U.S. and Australia. The Prime Minister's keen to join the TPP, and Miyagi's governor says that his region offers the perfect testing ground for ideas like farming collectives, which could end up coming to the rescue of Japan's economy. Mike Fern, Bloomberg, Tokyo.